Okay, now we have our database set up. We have some information in our tables and we know how to display it on our web page. But what if we want to allow a user or someone to actually insert information into our database and have it automatically display on our web page? Well, we're going to need to create a form for them to do that. And it's pretty simple in Dreamweaver. I'm just going to go to File, New. I'm going to create another new PHP page. And I'm going to save it as test form insert. And I'm going to choose save. Okay, first thing we're going to do is create another record set. And if you are not up to speed with your MySQL database or record sets, just begin to search these things on this website. You can search set up MySQL database basic record set and you'll find the tutorials that go along with this one. So I'm going to click my um, little plus button here on my bindings tab. I'm going to just choose record set and I'm going to name it RS songs. Use my test connection, that's the database I'm working with, and I'm just going to leave it as all, my default here. Click OK. Alright, so now I have the record set added to my website. Now what I need to do is go all the way up here on the top bar in Dreamweaver and I'm going to just choose Insert and I'm going to go to Data Object and I'm going to go to Insert Record, Record Insertion from Wizard. I'm going to get this little window that pops up, connection, test, table, songs, okay, and after inserting, I'm just going to go to the page that we created earlier where it displays the information, test page. Click OK. And now it's just asking me what form fields do I want. Well, my ID, um, if you remember right, if you go through the tutorial on the MySQL database, that is automatically assigned, so I don't want that. I'm just going to click my minus. I do want a, one for my title and one for my artist. So I can go to title here. My label is going to be title. Yes, it's a text field. Artist, my label is going to be artist. And yes, that's a text field. And I'm going to click OK. All right, now what you'll see is a little form that's been created here on the website. So I'm going to do a save all, and I'm going to preview this in Firefox. And I have a little form here, and I'm going to type in song three, artist none. And I'm just going to choose insert record. And now you'll see that it, it's now displaying right here on my website. So I have song one, two, which I put in earlier in the tutorial, and now I have song three. What this is good for, and a lot of times what I use this for, is when I am creating um, events listings on my website for a client, uh, for their website actually, and I want them to be able to go ahead and type in their new events and control the events that are displaying on their website. So I'll create a PHP form for them that goes right into the database and then I can set up how it is displayed on their website. So these were just your basic tutorials how to create a MySQL database, how to connect it to Dreamweaver, how to display your information and then how to create a form that inserts data. Of course there is much more in-depth things that we can go through with this and we um, will eventually go through it on this website but this is just get you a basic start and if you have any specific questions or a project that you're working on feel free always to submit a tutorial request and we can get you something posted. Thank you.